Okay, here we go. We're in the Picasa 3 editing a video, and this is the one I chose for the day, for today. Um, to begin with, here's some of the composition. What I started with, I wanted a picture of my son. That's Joshua there. Hey, buddy. And there is the Ravenel Bridge in the background in Charleston, South Carolina. And here's why I chose this particular composition. I wanted a picture of the bridge, but I knew that just a picture of the bridge six months from now, six years from now, would be boring. If I want a picture of the bridge, I can go to the internet, type in Ravenel Bridge, Charleston, click search, and I can get thousands of pictures of the bridge that are probably better than I could take. If I just took a picture of my son with a blue sky in the background, there's no context to give it meaning. It's the combination of my son, who I remember having a wonderful time with, and the specific location of the bridge to give us a place to, to give that memory. So first I'm going to start by cropping, because changing the video, I mean changing the um, contrast or the color settings before I crop doesn't make any sense, because I may be cutting out some of it. First I have to choose what size I want the final product to be. And it depends It depends on what I want to do with the photograph at the end. If I want to put it on a monitor screen or post it to the, to the web, I'll choose one of these aspect ratios. Or it really doesn't matter, because I can crop it to any size I want if I'm just posting it to Facebook. If I want to put it in a um, photo album, I might collect, select a 4x6 print, maybe a 5x7. If I want something to print and frame, I choose an 8x10. Or I can choose, if this is really nice quality and I want to frame it as an art print, I might choose an 11x14 or even larger. But Let's start with a 5 by 7 ratio. I choose one of the default choices. Now this is too much of a close-up. It's cut off half the bridge here in the back. I really did want most of this. Now, because I'm limited here, I've got to decide to cut off a little bit on both sides. I think, and I want to capture, maintain the background. If I cut off an inch here, I lose this dark space, which adds nothing, and I lose one segment of the bridge here, which I also don't think adds much. On the left here, I don't remember what these pipes were here, but those pipes give a little bit of shape and line texture to the photographs. It gives me something to look at. It also puts my son over on the far side, further over off to the side, more offset. So I'm going to choose this as my, there, I like that. He's off to the side. I've still got some birds here. There's a couple of people. I may be wondering what, the, there's a sailboat here. Clearly I've got the whole bridge centered. Now, I like to always start with the I'm feeling lucky. If you want to get into advanced features, great, go ahead. But most of the time, the I'm feeling lucky does a couple of things. You'll notice here, it brightened up his face. Take a look at the undo. It just lightens up the whole thing. Okay? You don't want to brighten it up too much to get it washed out, but I really do like the contrast here of the bright white against these black pipes here. This really gives me something interesting to look at. Uh, there's no red eye here, so I don't have to worry about that, and it's pretty straight all the way across. The only other thing I might want to do, now that I don't like, it just gives it, ooh, that makes it too yellowish and purpley. I'm going to undo that. I don't like that option. I like that. I'm done. That's pretty much all I want to do. There's the photograph, and I'm happy.